everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, and for today's video, I am continuing with the 100 premium, allegedly, gel pens. Now then, these are the gel pens that I had originally picked up at, of all places, Grocery Outlet. Now then, if you would like to see the video where I did the swatches and the illustration on the black paper, I will have one of the little eye bubble thingies and a link in the description below for everyone because I care about you all that way. Anyways, it is time to get to sketching. Alrighty, so finished the inking and I erased the pencil off screen and fixed up a few things. So it's time to get to the coloring, although I do think I need to come up with some sort of color palette because there's a hundred gel pens in here. So I haven't quite decided what all I'm going to do with this, only that it's probably going to be very, very colorful. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, so the first thing I should mention, I found that these particular gel pens went down on this paper much more smoothly than on the dark paper. I'm theorizing that it might have to do with the difference in texture in the paper. Eh, that, that's my theory anyway, and I'm sticking to it. The white paper really shows off just how vibrant the colors in this set are. Now, some pens were still a little on the streaky or scratchy side, but that's to be expected with a set this large, honestly. I was, however, blessed that all of the pens worked. Not one dry pen, so yay! And for those of you that are interested, I'll have a link in the description below for my tutorial on blending with gel pens. Yes, it's possible to blend and shade with gel pens. It's tricky sometimes, okay most of the time, and often involves a lot of trial and error, possibly even blood, sweat, and tears, so, so be aware. But there's nothing quite like the joy of having free reign of 100 gel pens just for you. Seriously, this right now is like living out one of my childhood fantasies. You see, when I was much younger and didn't exactly have a whole lot of money, gel pens were one of those things that I absolutely loved. 
but couldn't afford very many of. Yeah. But you know, since I wasn't able to just buy whatever I wanted, I actually appreciated what I was able to get a whole lot more. I, I mean, if my funds were not so limited, I would not have appreciated the gel pens that I did get. It's quite amazing how one's perception can change over time. Still, I remember seeing these sorts of sets when they were way more expensive than they are now. At least I think they were at the time. Perhaps things just seemed more expensive back when I didn't have a regular income. My point is, I always wanted one of these massive gel pen sets, but could never afford one. Until now. Fake announcer boys, <laughs> having fun. Actually, I probably could have picked up a set sooner, but I just didn't think of it. Work, bills, and life. You know, the usual. Sometimes adulting sucks. Before alcohol-based brush markers became my artistic love, gel pens once held that position. Of course, don't get me wrong, I still enjoy gel pens, obviously. One thing about gel pens, much like colored pencils, gel pens are a very time-consuming medium. The raw, unedited footage of this video was about four and a half hours long. This is why I speed things up, lol. <laughs> yeah, my wrist was really beginning to cramp up, but totally worth it. Of course, I had to drop a design that involved spots and markings, but that's how I like my ribbons. I've always said that if you do anything with spots, stripes, or markings of any sort, add a couple of extra hours to the elapsed time. I'm especially fond of the beautiful blues in this set. There are so many gorgeous blues! And I've always had a bit of a weakness for blue gel pens, especially glitter. Can't go wrong with the glitter or metallic. Metallic gel pens are also awesome. Just gel pens in general. Who am I kidding? So, did you ever get one of these big sets of gel pens as a kid? Did you ever pick one of these big sets of gel pens up as an adult? Because you could. Post below. As always, I love seeing what you guys have to say. And I try to read and respond whenever I can. And... What do you think of gel pens as an artistic medium? Alrighty, so here we are, and overall, I have to say that for a whole bunch of cheap gel pens from Grocery Outlet, no less, these weren't half bad at all. In fact, I rather enjoyed them. There were a couple of colors that were a little bit difficult to use to get, to, to get the ink flowing, but... I never had a serious issue. So overall, I, I, I'd rate these a solid 7 out of 10, if anything else, just because they were fun to use. You get a lot for a pretty small price tag. So if you're ever in your local grocery outlet or whatever kind of discount, might as, well, might as well just be one gigantic clearance rack sort of store in your area, check around because you never know what you can find. You never know what sort of little treasures are in there. And with that being said, before I send you on your way, please be sure to check out my Instagram at SilverHyenaArt. Looking forward to seeing you guys there. And 
make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that being said, this is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!